rather than looking at humility as lacking confidence, it's knowing your self-worth without having to advertise it. Because if you know who you are, you don't really need to prove that. It speaks for itself. And so humility does that. You ever met someone and they're just so humble, but they, people gravitate towards them, even in their humility, because they know who they are. And they don't need to buy or persuade others to believe in their humility. It just comes out. It's natural. And rather than seeing humility as downplaying your abilities, let the evidence of your skills, let the evidence of what God is doing in your life speak loudly through the demonstration of how you treat others, how we respond in situations, how we approach people, especially those that may not be the most approachable. Humility goes forward before us and allows us to give space and place to a conversation through the Holy Spirit. Deeper humility is a posture of our hearts, not just a behavioral change, because behavior could change, but it's not sustainable. But when we change the way we think about humility, it impacts our hearts, it impacts our prayer, it impacts how we, we love God through others, by loving others. When we come to Christ as sinners, we come to God humble. And that's the first step of humility. Sometimes I, I, I always say, God, how, how is it difficult for me to demonstrate humility in a situation where my emotions are aroused and I feel like I'm being ooh, challenged in my humility? But then I reflect, it took humility for me to say yes to Jesus through salvation. And so God requires humility, not just when we took that first step in salvation, but he requires humility throughout our journey in our relationship with him. Colossians 3.12 says, put on then as God chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassion hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. So we put it on today. Let's put on humility. Humility requires transparency before God, not perfection, but humility. God is not looking for us to be perfect in humility. He's just looking for us to say, say, hey, I'm weak in this area. Can you help me, Lord? And so the benefits of humility, it grants us wisdom, according to Proverbs 11, 2. When pride comes, then comes disgrace. But with humility comes wisdom. So humility would bring us into opportunities where we are able to hear from God more clearly. We're able to relate to others more effectively. God exalts the humble. Matthew 23, 12. Whosoever exalts himself will be humbled. <laughs> and whoever humbles himself will be exalted. And so the first thing that I said initially was humility is not downplaying yourself. And it's not making yourself to seem less than. Actually, humility is the opposite. Humility speaks through us. Humility demonstrates ourselves in a, a way that is more compelling to others. So we can talk to others about Jesus Christ. And so I want to remind you, it took humility to walk into the free gift of salvation. And so humility is a requirement for all of us. And so we pray today that God will give us the strength to continue to walk out humility in our lives daily. I am Cindy Jordan, and I am so grateful that God allow us to come across each other today as we discuss this topic of humility. God bless you. We are going places with Jesus Ministries. If you would like more information on how we can walk out humility together, Please get all our information. It's in the description box. If you need to know more about Jesus Christ and how you can receive that free gift of salvation, reach out to us. We would be happy to support you in this conversation. And in this lifestyle, it's more than a lifestyle, actually. It's a call for us to return to our Heavenly Father through faith in salvation. God bless you.